Okay folks, here is a little sneak preview on a late VCP panel which I'm building for my main machine uh, which will also incorporate the tool change mechanism and the Les Newell's uh, tool changer fix so we can jog around while tool changing since it puts the program back in manual mode. Um, nothing spectacular so far, just let's uh, turn the machine on, home the axis and for the later demo we'll load a different uh, short program which is just a couple of moves and tool changes in between. First we just try manual tool changes. Um, there's currently no tool loaded as you see here. Uh, let's load tool number two. What we see is the tool change tab comes up automatically and we see from the lead here it's tool number uh, there's a tool request change request pending. It wants tool number two so we insert the tool and say, okay, we're done. Um, that, of course, works um, repeatably in MDI mode now. Here's tool number one, and we're done. So interesting things happen when we actually run the program, because it does it differently then. Um, it executes the first move before it hits the first tool change in line number six. Uh, notice there's a prepare on line two here in the program and moves 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 and bang finally went there okay um, what you'll notice is um, now the program is actually idle and we are in manual mode but um, the, the Glade VCP handlers have recorded have aborted the program and recorded the line where that happened, namely at the tool change. Um, and so a different lead comes up which tells us it's okay to jog around now uh, with the tool, touch off, probe, whatever we'd like to do. For instance, we can jog, we can touch it off. Uh, we could actually um, start the probe routine which uh, is built in G-code and run with an MDI widget. So it's probing right now, and I just simulate a probe contact here. Uh, you notice that script is still a little bit chatty, so we'll erase that. And now that we're done, um, we run the line from number four. So it really redoes the tool change. Notice tool three was uh, prepared here in line two. Uh, EMC still thinks it has tool number one. So as we run from line four, it completes the tool change to tool three and executes the next statement. And we've already hit the tool change in line number eight, which requests tool number, I had a prepare for tool number one in line number six here. So AMC believes it's tool number three. So we, again, we can jog around here, uh, do whatever. So we would insert tool number one, maybe do a measurement of tool length, offset, um, probe, uh, whatever. And once we're done, we hit run from line and it changes to the tool which we were supposed to change to. Although we could uh, jog around and probe and do all these nice things. There's a third tool change in this program and we'll just uh, acknowledge that and it runs to an end and we're done. So. That was the demo.